Now that week 8 is over, let's look back at the action for the EU region. The battle for second place came to a thrilling climax as Utopia and Oops battled it out to see who was the better team. Missing two of their key players with Insane and Mayland, it was a tough task for Oops and one that sadly proved just to be out of reach as Utopia were able to pick up a 5-3 victory. At the bottom of the table, it was an unfortunate week for the Wild Bunch who now have to fight for their gold CD spot in their relegation playoffs. A loss to Swift via tiebreaker and then a defeat from Kazna Crew sealed their fate. Let's now look at the standings for the EU region where we can see the impact of the last week battles. Ding and Utopia are now safely through to the regional finals. Oops have finished in 3rd place which means they will play against Gohard in 6th place. Kasna Crew in 4th will now play against Swift in 5th place. The winner of these two matches will then go through to the regional finals. The Wild Bunch and Rage Quit will now play in the relegation playoffs for the remaining one spot in the Gold Series. It was amazing final week in the CIS region as the top teams would face each other multiple times to see who would come out on top. Let's have a look at that action. Not So Serious got off to a rough start as they could only defeat Impact Gaming via a tiebreaker. Navi then brushed aside Tornado Reborn 5-2 to continue their chase for the top. Hellraisers got some vital points by defeating Carpe DM 5-1 in a pretty one-sided match. As we went into the weekend, things got even more interesting. Not So Serious played in yet another tiebreaker, this time against Hellraisers and despite a strong fight from their opponents, Not So Serious picked up the win. Navi and Carpe Diem faced off in the very next match and that also went to tiebreaker with the win going to Navi. On Sunday, we then saw Not So Serious brush aside Carpe Diem 5-2 and Hellraisers then went on to defeat Navi 5-2 in which was the final match of the regular season. After a week of mayhem, we can now look at the table for the CIS region and see who finished where. Not So Serious were able to take the first spot with 43 points. With that win on the final match day against Navi, Hellraisers now finished 2nd place only 1 point ahead of Navi. This means for the regional quarterfinals, Navi in 3rd place will play against We Play in 6th place. Carpe Diem in 4th will play against Brainstorm who are 5th. Impact Gaming and Tornado Reborn will no longer play in the regular series and they will go into the relegation playoffs for that one remaining spot for the gold series. It's back to business for the teams in the APAC region as after a short break for the Tokyo Game Show, everything can carry on now. So let's look at week 7 in that region. As expected, EL Gaming won all three of their matches defeating the Coalition 5-2 and then Karen Tigers and Horsemen 5-0. Meltdown were able to maintain their challenge for second place as they defeated Team Efficiency 5-1 and then Dark Wolves 5-3. B Gaming were also able to pick up two wins as they defeated Dark Wheels 5-3 and then defeated both Coalition and Team Efficiency 5-0. Let's now take a look at the standings for the APAC region after week 7. EL Gaming are safely through to the regional finals as they are now 11 points clear of their nearest rivals. Meltdown, B Gaming, Team Efficiency and Karen Tigers are all still in contention for second place. The two relegation spots are also not decided as there's only 8 points difference between 8th place and 4th place. Week 8 for the APAC region still has many potential outcomes so it's vital that every team plays their best. Let's now look back at week 8 for the NA region where some vital matches got some surprising outcomes. Apex have finished the regular season undefeated as they picked up wins against Sibley de Trou, 07 Gaming and Aquatic M60s. Eclipse Gaming suffered a shock 5-2 defeat to 07 Gaming. This match put a dent in Eclipse's challenge for the second spot and it gave 07 Gaming a much needed boost to avoid the relegation zone. Eclipse however were able to win their final match against Deja Vu which secured them their second place in the league. In a vital match for two teams at the bottom of the table, 07 Gaming were able to defeat Sibley de Trou 5-3 and that ensured 07's Gaming's place in the Gold Series for Season 2. Now with week 8 behind us and the final match they played, let's have a look at the standings for the NA region. Apex are safely through to the regional finals and they will be joined by Eclipse Gaming. 3rd place Aquatic M60s will play against 6th place 07 Gaming. Deja Vu in 4th will play against rival Simple Tankers in 5th. Sibley de Trou in High will be playing in the relegation playoffs for the remaining spot in the Gold Series.